I'd heard rumours about the newly emerging tuning scene in Korea, so I headed to the outskirts of Seoul to find out more. Until recently, tuning your car in Korea was virtually impossible because the government put so much red tape in the way that hardly anybody bothered. In fact, a survey that was conducted in 2014 revealed that most Koreans thought any form of car tuning was totally illegal. But then the government had a change of heart. They looked at other countries and they realised that the tuning industry was rather big business. Take the USA, for example. It generates over $34 billion of income per year. Based on those figures, unsurprisingly, the Korean government decided to make the tuning process a bit more accessible. Unlike the UK, you still need to make a separate application for each tuning job. But now you can do that online, and as long as the car conforms to the government regulations, it can often be approved within a day. And Korea's car tuning has taken off as a result. Today, I'm at one of the country's top tuners, Torcon Power Labs, to see which machines are popular when the spray guns and spanners come out. They'll typically do about 50 jobs a month that are quite minor, like little induction kits and that sort of stuff, exhausts. And they'll do five major, like engine transplants, full engine rebuilds, so it's busy. Business is brisk. There's a definite trend of cars that are favourable. Most of the cars that get modified here are domestic cars, so the Korean cars. Take this for example, this is a Velosta N. So this is pretty much a brand new car and already it's been heavily modified. This started life with a two litre engine developing 240 horsepower. It's now 400 horsepower. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and very cool. But the Koreans don't stop at tinkering under the bonnets. They go to town on the bodywork and the interiors too. Look at the quality, look at the execution. And you've got little influences from like Japanese, like the clip-on arches with the visible rivets. The tire lettering, that's really fashionable at the moment. Some of the cars are running like air suspension, like that Lexus over there. That and the Mini are the only non-Korean cars here. I mean, it's mad. It's mad in here. It's brilliant, though. Some really good, tasteful stuff. Way more tasteful than the stuff my mates were doing when they were 20. This is real carbon body kits, real carbon bonnets. There's loads of carbon inside the car, so there's some money being spent here. Talking of money, in the UK, tuned cars can get caned when it comes to insurance. In Korea, they keep the premiums down by halving the payouts in the event of an accident. So if you add 10 grand's worth of mods, the insurance will only cough up five. So it's a bit of a risk, you've got to really want to do it. As for parts, the Koreans import a lot from America and Japan, who have been at it for decades. However, places like Torcon are now producing their own bits and pieces and then exporting. Chief tuner Tony Kang has agreed to take me out for a ride in the modified Veloster N. I don't expect much banter here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tony's English isn't the best. So is it mostly that like, farming in this countryside here? The lots of farms? Oh. My English is no good. Yeah. It's better than my career, trust me. This 20 grand car has had nearly another 20 grand spent on the modifications, including an uprated turbocharger, a sports exhaust, and lightweight carbon fiber panels. <laughs> And once out of the quiet residential streets, Tony was able to open it up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pulling. In 2014, the Korean tuning business was worth $500 million. Five years later, it's worth almost $4 billion, oh. and it's still climbing like a rocket. The thing about Korea that I've noticed is once a trend has been spotted or a piece of technology explored, it gets exploited really quickly. The rate of evolution is quicker than anywhere, quicker even than, I think, Japan or China. The Koreans came late to the tuning party, but have already caught up with the Western world. And now the Korean government is actively supporting the industry with grants in certain regions in the hope that high-quality, low-cost items become in demand all over the world. So who knows? The next tuning component on your car might come from these very shores.